What's going on YouTube? It's Cool Ninja Guy here. I haven't uploaded a tutorial in a very long time, so this is actually a two-part tutorial. Uh, what I'm showing you now is how I do my Twixter, uh, how I do my Twixter syncing in After Effects, and what I'm going to show you in like the second part, which isn't going to be this video, it's going to be a separate video, it's going to be uploaded later, is going to be my pan crop settings, um, along with these Twixter settings. Um, so let me show you that right now. I'm going to show you the Twixter. Uh, just for sake of time, I have my clip set up already. Uh, my, my song and my gunshots. Uh, the song is Ash by Resonate. Good song. It's got a nice easy beat to sync to. And I have my clip, which is the Spratty Intervention Quad Feed Scrapyard. I think everyone's seen a million times before. So I'm just going to start by dragging in my clip. And I'm going to go to my zero marker, snap it on there, turn my audio off because I'm using gun sounds. And first thing I gotta do is type on some Twixter Pro. I use Pro. If you don't have Pro, just use regular Twixter. Uh, and I change the frame rate, obviously, to 59.94 because that's what my clips are. If you're dealing with exactly 60 frames, then use 60. Don't use 59.94. It's common sense, but you know it seems that way. Some people just don't get it. Um, so what we're gonna do now is actually I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to move this clip a bit just because there's a lot of empty space. I'm gonna go right when he aims. So right there and I'm gonna mute this clip as well and so now I have zero on my marker it starts and it aims in he shoots on the one marker so I'm gonna go to my zero marker keyframe my speed at 100 easy ease is keyframe hit F9 but I can't because that pauses Camtasia uh, we'll go to 100 go in the middle of the key or your markers yeah at, at this point I'm assuming that you guys know how to use markers and stuff so just let you know if you don't shift one makes your one marker and you know you get the point. 25, then I'm going to my one marker. He's already shooting, so I'm going to put this up to 150. And I'm going to fix my keyframes a bit, or my uh, comp a bit. So he's already shooting, so that means I want to go back into my composition and drag this a bit. So that, well, at that one marker, I want him just shooting. So I just got to play with the thing. I got to find, so he gets, right when he gets a hit marker, he at the one marker. Uh, is he still aiming at this point? Okay, I'm gonna move it like three more frames. That was two more of it. It looks good enough to me. Okay, so he zooms in. It's you know it starts out fast, slows down in the middle, and zooms up quickly. He shoots, and I go to the back of these or the middle of these markers and do the same thing. 25. I don't know if I mentioned, but once you go like your keyframe to get to the shot, then you go frame four, put 100 to reset it back to your value. Then you do the 25 in the middle again. Go to my two marker, and I'm gonna go 150 or 200, you know, depending on what you want to do. Each clip is different. Then go back to 100, and I'm gonna move over a bit. This tutorial is kind of tedious, but I think you get the point. 25. Does he even shoot the guy? I think he gets a collat right away. Yeah, he does. So then I'm gonna go to my three marker. And I'm just going to drag this up until he gets the shot, which is actually pretty quick. So that means I'm going to fix my two marker to be about 125. Let's go. Three. He's a few keyframes away. So I got 100. That looks good to me. Good enough for the sake of the tutorial. And since my speed's at 100, I don't need another 100 keyframe to reset it. So I'm going to go in the middle again. 25. You guys get the point, it's pretty simple. Turn on the title action save. 25 in the middle, go to my four marker, 150. And since I know there's a big jump between this shot and the next shot, I'm gonna go to 200. <coughs> Sorry, boogie. Um, go back to 100. Shut up phone, I'm busy. I'm gonna, who are you? Okay, I've never seen the phone, or the phone number in my life. Uh, my hard drive's making weird noises. Just go in the middle again, 25, 5, then I'm going to drag this up to like 200, to where he shoots, so I'm going to have to go 250, let's go 300, actually I'm going to speed my 4 keyframe up to 250, it's trial and error, you get the basics of this, but it's pretty much all trial and error, you see he shoots there, he makes the episode, he makes the shot, then I'm going to go 100, same thing again, middle of the markers, 25, then I go to my 6 marker, I'm going to go 200, frame forward, 100, it's super self-explanatory, like, all I need to do is see it, and then I go to my 7 marker, I'm going to go up to 200, and then I'm going to show the clip. <clears throat> so now, if I go to my, over here, 
and I'm on third quality I'm gonna preview this for you you're gonna see how it looks so it's gonna take a while to run preview because my computer stinks uh, next tutorial I'll upload it in a week or so we'll see don't quote me on that um, I'm going to be using the same clip with the Twixter on it I'm gonna show you my pan crop settings uh, how I do them in After Effects. I've gotten actually a decent amount of requests for that because I did my Sony Vegas tutorial. It's got a few thousand views, surprisingly, on how I do my Sony Vegas velocity and pan crop. So this is how I do my, you know, it's not velocity, it's Twixter. Uh, how I do my syncing and my pan crop in After Effects. So I'll show you that uh, in the next tutorial. And feel free to leave some, uh, you know, suggestions in the comments. That always helps. So let's watch this now. See how it looks? The gun sound sounds super empty, but I don't care because it's a tutorial. <laughs> I'm not releasing this edit. I've edited this clip a million times. Um, you get the point. I think you can see it's pretty simple. You just have it speed up in the beginning, slow down in the middle, speed up in the at the end. You know your marker until it's the shot. Um, that's pretty much it for the Twixter. Next tutorial, I'll get on the pan crop. So thank you guys for watching. My name is Cool Ninja Guy, um, and I will see you later.